In the area of Studham, just 35 minutes drive north of Oamaru, is a farm designed to give both adults and children a good fright and raise funds for Plunkett in the process. The main experience is a maize in a cornfield. Each year over the last six years, maize farmer Rory Foley has added improvements to his design. This year we're really, really narrow, yeah. really narrow tracks and what we want to do is you turn up in the pitch dark with a little tiny torch. If you turn up with a big torch, we're going to put duct tape around it and make it even smaller. The corn's going to come over the top of you. You're in a cornfield with this rattling wind, dark, narrow, tiny spots, and you know that we're in there waiting for you. All work is done by volunteers, who this year spent three weeks cutting the tracks and will be on hand in costume to turn up the fear another notch. People these days don't get that opportunity to go in the middle of the night into a cornfield. You know, you can watch it on TV, horrors, but to actually go out and physically experience it and go and tell your mates that you actually have a really cool weekend story to tell. Yeah, or a really bad weekend story to tell where I wet myself and I ended up crying. And The journey through the maze can take a good chunk of time. We're looking at roughly 20 to 30 minutes to go through during the night. Um, and then during the day, probably up to 40 minutes, 50 minutes if you go to two different ways. In addition to the maze, there are other disturbing experiences, such as the vortex room. Fear New Zealand's corn maze hosted over a thousand visitors last year, raising $15,000 for South Canterbury Plunkett. Running most Fridays and Saturdays until mid-March, they hope to have twice as many visitors this year. Rudy Adrian, The South Today.